What's going on guys? My name is ZJD and welcome back to another bonus episode of Earthbound. Last time we tried to check out what would happen if you defeated Carbon Dog and Diamond Dog at the Fire Spring without all 8 South Stone Melodies. As you guys know, after the game the 8 South Stone Melody, you automatically are awarded to Magic Hand. But since I skipped this dungeon, we're going to find out what happens if we fight this boss last, or any boss last for that matter. So we're going to see what happens after we beat Thunder and Storm at the... Uh, as the last recorded soundstone melody, so let's get started. You finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. All right, let's get right into it. Thunder and storm attack. All right, here we go. We're gonna start right off with bashing and freezing and setting up and whatnot. So while we do that, right off the bat, let's equip Ness with a sudden gust pro for Jeff. Here we go, PSI Freeze Gamma, here we go. Hopefully this boss will be really easy to beat, seeing how he's a 6th boss of the game. We already fought and beat the 8th boss of the game, so this will probably be an easier boss. It's Crash and Boom Bang, it's the equivalent of PSI Thunder, but since it's not technically PSI, it's going to do damage to us despite us having a magic shield on, so that's pretty, that's going to be pretty smart. Alright, we're going to, let's use a snake on him. I don't know why exactly I have a snake, I probably picked up when I went to get items to prepare for this fight. But hopefully this guy will be a uh, total pushover, not that big a deal. Oh yeah, poison them. <laughs> All right, so let's get Paul to continue PSI freeze Omega. Jeff, you're gonna unleash a multi bottle rocket. This will probably do it for us. It's probably gonna be a short fight and uh, poo PSI freeze gamma. And they're done. Wow, you won. Ness and Strange gained 32,257 experience points. Ness is now low 71. Option run by 2. Defense run by 1. Gust run by 1. IQ run by 1. Luck run by 1. Maximum HP run by 1. Why is it getting more by 1? What the hell? That's just about it. Alright. Let's find out what happens. You're here at Pink Cloud. Hopefully, my game doesn't break. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. Ness the sound song recorded the melody of Pink Cloud. Alright guys, if you remember the last four parts of the sound song melody is Ness's victory theme from the original Super Smash Bros. and Melee, so listen carefully. The cutscene is happening. This is the whole entire uh, flashback cutscene before you enter Magic Hand, so I guess this is what happens. I guess you do automatically go to Magic Hand. Let's just see and find out. I don't know if the game will change. This has never been attempted before, as far as I know.
Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He smiled just from his hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. Ha ha ha, it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some steak. This baby will grow to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a powerful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby model that the baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to have moved a little bit. Hmm. Okay, we are in Magic Camp. Wow, so looks like if you don't beat Diamond Dog and a Carbon Dog right after, right when you're supposed to, I guess, you do get sent to Magic Camp after all. That's pretty interesting, but this level is hard as hell, so I won't do it in this episode. Uh, next time when we do another Earthbound bonus, we will explore the end of Magic Camp and probably beat Ness's Nightmare. I'll be at that point next time I record this, so. Thank you for watching another Earthbound bonus video. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, like, leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. My name is XJD. Goodbye.